Goat guns, scale non-firing toy replica, die cast metal, realistic moving parts. Let's try it out. Well, that's pretty cool. Slide works, mag releases, hammer even works. <laughs> that's awesome. Nope. Hello? Yeah, what's up, man? <laughs> hey, man, uh, I'm gonna have to let you go. What in the world? That's a full-size gun now. How did that happen? I spilt the water. So the water spilt on the goat gun. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, I hope this works. Come on, come on. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. <laughs> oh, now I gotta try the AK. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. I can't believe that worked. Oh man, I got a great idea. 50 BMG. Just need to do a few modifications. Oh, it's beautiful. American flag, 50 BMG. Please let this work, please. Oh man, gonna need a little bit more water for this one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <sighs> Dang it. No way, no way, no way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ever. What's up everybody, my name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range and I'm super excited about today's video because I have something really cool to show you. But before we get started, I wanna say thank you to Goat Guns for sponsoring today's video. Goat Guns are cool little die cast replicas of your favorite firearms. This is a Barrett 50 cal, and what's really cool about these is they function similar to a real firearm, but not really because it's a toy. So the magazine detaches on this, and you see you got some little rounds in there, and then the bolt works too. This thing slides back and forward. It's got a spring in there. They're cool little desk ornaments. I got a few in my office. If you need a gift for the firearms enthusiast in your life, you need to check out Goat Guns. So let me show you what I'm so excited about. Let me introduce you to my new 50 cal. This is my Serbu BFG 50A with an American flag Cerakote. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful in your entire life? This thing turned out so, so good. I love it so much. So you may have noticed in my previous videos, I was using a Serbu BFG 50A, but I was just trying that one out. I was trying to decide what I wanted for the channel. Well, I decided that I did want a Serbu BFG 50A, but I wanted to make it my own because everybody has a 50 cal. So I kind of wanted it to stand out a little bit. I didn't expect it to stand out this much. This turned out so, so good, man. Well, that's enough talking about it. I'm ready to go shoot it. So we're back at 100 yards and we're gonna have some fun. I'm gonna be using some PMC bronze, 50 BMG, 660 grain full metal jackets. If you don't know what a 50 BMG looks like, here you go, pretty big round. And I have a shootsteel.com steel target set up down range. It is rated for 50 BMG, so this should be some fun. I forgot, I gotta go turn on the other camera. This weapon does not have a magazine in it. It is not loaded, so it's safe to leave here. Okay, let's take a few shots of that steel. I've got six rounds loaded up. I've never shot that piece of steel before, so I'm really curious to see what happens. Ooh, man. That hit that steel so hard. My goodness. Oh 
my goodness. <laughs> Again, I'm taking the magazine out and the weapon is clear. This is so much better than walking! All right, let's check this out. So as you can tell, I wasn't trying to be super precise. Let's see if there's any dents. There is nothing. That is insane. That is some tough stuff. Look at all these holes on the ground. What the heck? It looks like a few of them may have broke up, but then you've got some pretty big holes right here. Like, I bet you that steel core shot into the ground right here. Maybe not. Huh. Oh, darn it. Well, forget that. All right, well now I want to set up a few things. Uh, that thing is so heavy. Uh, woo, that is heavy. Hey, by the way, did you notice the new shirts? Wrist Breakers Club. If you want to be in the Wrist Breakers Club, you got to pick up a shirt. Link in the description down below will take you to KentuckyBallistics.com. All right, I say we start out with some five gallon water jug. Put one here, and one here. Okay, let's load up two more rounds and blast those water jugs. Goodness. All right, well, I think you know what time it is. It's watermelon time. Just nick that one. Goodness, <laughs> I can still see watermelon falling. All right, let's go set up a few more things. Okay, now I want to shoot these cinder blocks. This one is gigantic and this one is just normal size. Ugh. And you, there we go. Goodness. I think we just nicked him. Oh, we got him that time. <laughs> Man, that 50 really did some damage. Unfortunately though, this is all I brought out here today. Well, that's it for today's video. I know it was a little short, but I wanted to introduce you to the new 50 cal before I started featuring it in more videos. If there's anything you'd like to see me shoot, let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also make sure you're following me on Facebook, Patreon, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below or on my website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.